Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to explore the key differences between environmental determinism and possibilism. First, let's talk about environmental determinism, the belief that environmental factors are the primary drivers of human society and culture. On the other hand, possibilism suggests that humans have the ability to adapt and modify their environment to overcome limitations. One major difference is that determinism portrays humans as passive recipients, while possibilism emphasizes human agency. Determinism argues that the environment determines the course of human development, while possibilism suggests that humans have the ability to shape their environment. Determinism often leads to a fatalistic viewpoint, while possibilism promotes a more optimistic outlook on human capability. Determinism has faced criticism for being overly simplistic and ignoring the complexity of human behavior, while possibilism allows for a more nuanced understanding of the relationship between humans and the environment. Determinism tends to overlook the influence of culture and social factors, whereas possibilism recognizes the importance of these factors in shaping human societies. Determinism suggests that geography is the sole determining factor, while possibilism emphasizes the role of cultural, economic, and political factors. Determinism often leads to generalizations and stereotypes, whereas possibilism encourages the consideration of individual variation and human agency. In summary, environmental determinism and possibilism offer different perspectives on the relationship between humans and their environment. It is important to recognize the limitations and biases of each theory to gain a more holistic understanding. That's it for today's video. I hope you found this exploration of environmental determinism and possibilism insightful. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more educational content.